is going on guys it's your boy Sizzle here bring as a video here today bring as a banner design tour on how to make your own fun floral pattern design I, like yo beats me what i'm gonna talk I, like hopefully simplistic is not gonna be in the title because this is far from the word simplistic but you guys already know it's like a running meme i guess by now like the whole world's like the word simplistic the way it's not gonna be used like i feel like i branded the word simplistic in a completely different way but today we're gonna be teaching you how to do something like with these floral design stuff so someone tweeted at me yesterday hey can you do something that like revolves around this sort of style and i was like of course i, I could definitely do something that, like it's more of like a floral sort of i don't know like i feel like it's a very just also it gives me a reason to use one of my favorite backing socks which is this right here but um it's sort of just using florals and just like a kind of like a, having a foliage on the sides and then just like a very simple text work with just really simple lighting and you know cc work so it does look really really dope someone who's into like this kind of theme to it i think you would really enjoy how to do it it's very simple as well so hopefully you guys will enjoy today's video so do not forget to likes on the video equals a secret down below and just because i'm not sure if i'm gonna have video on july 4th happy fourth of july and all that great stuff so let's go ahead and get this thing going and hopefully you guys have a great weekend as i know i did not post on friday but i had the video right the, like the day right after hopefully it's not going to be a normal thing but you know every once in a while i do get kind of caught up in stuff and working so let's make sure uh we understand that that's a thing that, ha that might happen but hopefully this video here today is like it was worth the wait okay it was worth the 24 hours so let's go ahead and get this thing going and all right let's go ahead and do this all right, so just so you guys know, be sure to know that all the uh, stocks I'm gonna be using in today's video will be in the description down below. So of course, if you guys wanna download that, uh, download that, excuse me, it's in the description down below for you guys to use. Uh, I'm gonna be using pretty much everything in this little uh, little folder right here. This is gonna be the main sort of, uh, I guess you would say the main image that we're gonna be using for the background. So if you guys wanna place that in there and get ready to go, I'm gonna uh, show you guys a simple co a color correction to make this look a little bit better and just a little more, I guess, Bit, like easier to work with for the I guess the style wise so we're gonna start off with a simple brightness and contrast and I'm gonna use my exact settings because recently I've been using like settings that were sort of like like if it was at 57 I put it like 55 or if it was at like 59 I put it like 60 but it does change the kind of color correction a little bit so I'm just gonna give you guys the exact exact numbers that I'm gonna be using and not like you know round it up because truthfully I know my OCD is gonna hurt but it's gonna it's gonna make you guys a lot uh, or excuse me it's gonna help you guys out a lot more so as the brightness and contrast we're gonna bring the brightness to negative 58 and the contrast to 60 it's pretty much just gonna get those creases that are going on over here just come out a little bit more not have such a dull paper and get some more depth going on with this actual thing and uh i'm gonna add in a color balance I've been using this a lot recently, so for this, it really depends on what you kind of want to work with, but I wanted to get more of like a, almost like a brownish tone. I'm not entirely sure, but I know that I when I messed around with this whole entire color balance thing, that I got the settings that I wanted, definitely. So I would say this is probably the one thing you can change to your fitting or whatever you see fits, uh, because realistically, it all depends. Like this color here is fine, but using the color balance, I just kind of get more of a brownish tone, more of a golden sort of feel to it. I thought it looks really good. And we're gonna add in a vibrance, and this is gonna be added right here. And the vibrance settings goes as 79 vibrance, and then negative 20 for the saturation. Now, it's it's kind of going back and forth with the whole brightness and contrast thing, but trust that it does make sense for me to do it uh, when it comes along, I guess, like building the entire actual thing. And we're gonna add in yet again another brightness and contrast, and we're gonna put this at negative 29, and then 38 for the contrast, and there we go. Okay, we're getting there, and I believe, I think we can just add in this dirt thing, this dirt texture here. So this dirt texture I just got from Google, of course, I just typed in literally dirt texture. Got a simple dirt texture because, I don't know, I was, I, it was, I'm going to use the wood texture as well, but I feel like the dirt texture had kind of what I wanted, and on this dirt texture, I'm going to change this to soft light, and I'm going to lower this opacity down to about uh, 56, and just so you guys know, like, it really all depends on what kind of, like, I guess... Uh, texture you want to have on yours like I wanted like this sort of grungy kind of thing So I just got, I kind of thought you know, like, when I thought grunge I thought like the simplest thing or the simplest natural sort of thing would be like dirt to get to kind of the grunge Right, so I don't know it all depends on what you guys want to do But if you guys also want to take your uh, your uh, what do you call this thing again? Okay vector mask yep when you want to take your vector mask on a rasterized image So you don't have to use your eraser uh, you can go ahead and just like sort of erase around different spots to get I guess different textures in different spots if you guys choose to do so um by the way, to do this, you got to use a black brush and to a basically using a black brush, <clears throat> excuse me, will erase it and then using a white one will actually add it back in. And that's when you click on this little thumbnail right here. So uh, last but not least for the background, at least we're going to add in that like rhyme that last but not least for the background, at least. Yo, I'm just I'm just amazing, aren't I? OK. All right. So this wood thing, this little, little wood texture here, by the way, I did reuse two of these stocks from um, 
that Western theme. I just, I don't know, I like the, I like the look of that. And so I kind of use, I'm going to use it again. Why the hell not, right? And for this wood texture, I'm going to put it on linear burn, which I believe is right here. And then for the opacity, we're going to drop this all the way down to about 25%. And I might just move this a little bit to get more like the wood kind of texture. But for now, that is perfect. And that is good. Now at the moment, it's time for us to actually build our corners with flowers. Now, for me, I think I'm going to add this one in here first. This green leaf one. Um, just because I know I'm going to double click on this. Just in case you guys do not know, when you have a smart object, it's more than just like rasterizing or excuse me, keeping the quality of whatever it is that you're making big or small. If you actually did not know, you double click on this, right? And actually opens up a actual file uh, you might have to say like do you want to open this up and then be like you know yes don't ask me again kind of thing but mine is not gonna ask me that mine's gonna open up automatically but if you guys do not know a smart object you can actually create things or excuse me edit your actual smart object in here that way when you close down this uh, thing right here and you actually save it it will change the object over here in the actual file so if you guys are wondering because you see I'm gonna show you guys really quickly um, so you can see what I'm actually talking about these white lines here, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to click on the thumbnail, just control click on the thumbnail, go to select, modify, contract, and we're going to track it by three pixels. Reason being is contracting it by three pixels is going to give me just enough where the stroke is actually, that's like this little white stroke that's going around. It's going to be erased. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this picture again, right click all with the rectangle marking tool, and I'm going to layer via cut. And that way, if I just show you guys this, that get, so it gets rid of everything that's sort of like not wanted. That's what I love so very much. And I'm gonna get rid of this layer. So again, you know, I just want to show you guys what it was. So I'm gonna get rid of that black layer. And when I press this X here and I press yes, you'll see, okay, relax, save it. Not that crazy. When I press yes and save it over here, it totally did not change. What are you doing? Why didn't you change? Maybe I can't add anything. Select, modify, contract, same exact thing. I'm just gonna not put the black background maybe. Cut and then exit, save. Yeah, don't put the black background. It's probably gonna mess it up. So just do the exact same thing without the black background. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what like what I was changing, so you guys actually knew what I was doing. But yeah, so for this, I'm gonna shrink this down just a little bit. Um, we'll say like right there. Or so now for me, what I was doing a lot, I was using a color balance and sort of fixing, I guess, the colors of how I wanted my leaves to be or whatever. I was like, I was just trying to figure out what would feel like the best color. So you can use a color balance, change the reds, the magentas, the greens, all that cool stuff. Sort of get the sort of color scheme that you're looking for. Like right here, I feel like this looks better than just using this, right? It's too much green. I feel like I need a more of a dullish toned down green to actually match with this black, excuse me, brown background going on here. So for me, that looks pretty good. I'll leave that as is. I'm going to go ahead and add in. What do we want to add in? Um, we'll add in like, I guess the roses now. Light in some of these roses. By the way, all these are PNGs. I'll also do the same exact thing I did before. Control click on this, and I'll just do it by uh, two pixels this time. Um, all these are PNGs. To get like PNGs like this, all you gotta do is type in like a rose PNG. If you type in PNG at the end of whatever you're Google searching, you'll be able to find transparent um, like things very, very easily. So as you can see, I pressed saving, pressed yes, and on this new, uh, excuse me, our old, or excuse me, our document that we're working in, you saw that it actually created a more I guess clean cut whatever edited inside the in the smart object so just so you guys know um just because i haven't really actually said that before i feel like so i wanted to help you guys out there i'm gonna put that like right there we're gonna also go ahead and color balance this and we're gonna go ahead and just click mask it and we're gonna give it more of a red right i don't want too much green i kind of want the pink going on here a nice little blue hue why not and then i'm gonna add in this little thing here rotate that bad boy drag this over here that would look pretty good now I do I want to color balance this why the hell not I'm gonna color balance pretty much everything and kind of make it I guess blend as best as I can I'll probably take a little more longer time on this but I kind of get a certain idea what I'm going for and it's not that crazy and not that like you don't you need, you need to do this kind of thing so it's not crazy like that but I'm gonna add this last piece in here I'm gonna just oops I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift bring this down and we're just gonna add this like right over here and then call it a day if I want to I can even add it like over here as well. Yeah, sure, that can work. That does work, I feel like. I'm gonna put this below this though. Yes, okay, so basically I'm gonna go ahead and group everything in here together. So that's all this stuff, all the leaf stuff. And we're just gonna call this leaf for now. And then that's all grouped up together now. So sweet, now we have our first corner. I work with the left, bottom left corner. And basically what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna basically do now, excuse me, is hold Alt or you can press Control J to duplicate that leaf copy or that leaf group, excuse me. I'm gonna hold Alt, drag it. I'm gonna basically rotate this here. 
just give it a different angle and then just add excuse me not add but I guess place it in a different like like a different angle already changing your angle rotating or whatever will change the angle so it doesn't look exactly identical to the uh, to the bottom left side but it'll be just as good and I think that's good right there I think that's okay right there that was pretty good so I'm gonna add on all four corners though so I'm gonna duplicate it once again and we're gonna go ahead and just add let's like add a different direction let's go ahead and add uh, Let's do like without the roses, maybe we'll add like these or something like that. Even if I wanted to get rid of the roses, or even, even if you wanted to redo it, the like I'm using a duplication um, for the my example that I actually have here. I did use a duplication for the two over here, but I also did make a different one for the bottom uh, right and then top left over here. But for the tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna duplicate it, or excuse me, I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess, you know duplicate it and just kind of figure out where I want this Jeez, it's kind of being a little difficult for me uh, we're gonna open this up really quickly and I'm gonna try to find where is this leaf here yeah this one I'm gonna move this up a little bit right just to make it a little more different and then I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this one bring it up to the top right over here excuse me top left over here and then let's just add this like that for now I'll get rid of this leaf thing move that down let's just move something up besides the rose maybe like this why not I'll take my eraser really quickly not my eraser my brush my black brush and we'll get rid of that and I'll just say that's good enough for now but realistically you probably want to construct it a different way than um anything that's you just don't want to look similar to everything around you want to have at least some sort of different look to it and right now this looks pretty good uh, to me and I'm pretty satisfied with it realistically I'm gonna go ahead and just add in this last little rose thing here and what I'm gonna actually do really quickly as well, we're gonna go here with the masking tool. We're gonna take a eraser. I'm gonna use a 100% hardness eraser just because. And I'm gonna get rid of all of this. I would pencil this out if I was trying to be, you know, very, very, I guess, cor like correct is, you know, the term I'm gonna use. Um, I think that C's fit. Um, I'm just gonna erase this because I think it looks very, very ugly and I wanna get rid of it. So that is that. But like I said, I probably would pencil this to make sure it was perfect for like a client, something like that. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as is. And let's just open this up and let's also just go ahead and you know modify it contract two pixels M tool layer via cut delete the access minus or excuse me exit out press yes now we're good all right cool I'm gonna go ahead and just shrink this down and I believe like right there is good where's my middle at uh, that's pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and add my text in now. I'm gonna what I have. I had simplistic, simpli, simplistic, and then we're gonna add this. What I think I'd use like next to light or something like that, right? And I'm just shrink this down for now. We had simplistic. We'll make it white for now as well. Simplistic, and then I had floral. All right, all right. Apparently, I did not type. What is going on? Please. All right. Please. What are you doing? Hold on, why is my T not working here? I'm a little lost, just a little bit. Not like crazy lost, I'm just a little lost. I pressed something and now my keys are just being weird. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, that was weird. I think I fixed it though. I think we're good. I believe the font that I used for this one was long haul, not long shot. And we're gonna make this a lot bigger. I'll change the color in a little bit, but for now I'll change it to something like this. Maybe? Okay. We'll change it to that. Um, let's oops, dude. Alright. I'm misclicking everything. We're gonna click floral here. We're gonna move this down over here. I will change the color possibly in a second, but for now this is perfectly fine. And I don't think I actually use this font, but I think this font is fine. Next to light. I think I used like something else and I sort of had it um extended around, like with using this right here, the separation. I had that separation thing going. Let's make sure or show you guys what I meant. This thing here so that's what I probably did uh okay that's not what I meant to do what are you doing what what are you doing there we go what I meant was VA separation that's what I mean but I didn't I'm not gonna do that right now I'm just gonna keep it like as is and for this floral piece I'm gonna have this drop shadow going and we're gonna put this distance up drop down the size I'll make sure I put the size just up a little bit and I'll lower my passage down right here for now and I believe that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some lights going on here. So I'm gonna add some lights. And what I mean by that is just simple lighting effects. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use a soft brush. 
and we're gonna select the color I don't know let's just select brown for now we're gonna select brown we're gonna click on the outsides here just a little bit right and like so and we're gonna put it on linear dodge add lower this opacity down to whatever you see fit I'm gonna put it at 59 for now and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, make a new layer again I'm gonna take a red from here by the way to select the color that's on your palette already or on your canvas already uh, on my brush I'm holding alt so just in case you're curious you can actually select any color that's on the actual uh, like page here so I'm gonna select this like pink or whatever over here and we're gonna click over here and we're gonna click over here over there maybe a little bit down here maybe a little up there and we're gonna add linear dodge add again lower this opacity down and last but not least or maybe not last but I'm gonna add some green going on here on this leaves part here I'm trying to add it by the way like the like trying to match the colors as best as I can linear dodge add again because I believe it looks best and if you feel like you need to change the color around you can just basically uh, click on the layer control U, and then change the hue over here if you think that would work for you go ahead and lower the opacity or excuse me lower the lightness down as well if you choose to um I think that's okay and I might just actually erase what's going on over here a little bit then that's that's okay now I'm gonna go ahead and add a simple brightness and contrast going on here as well and for this one, I'm gonna add around I'll say negative 55 and then for the contrast a 49 here that way I can get some very nice dark tones going with the lights that we just did it looks freaking dope we're gonna add yet again another new layer this time I'm gonna choose a red here and I might change the color around in a second but for this red I'm gonna click around just like so because I want to get a little more color going on I'm gonna linear dodge add this slow the opacity down I'm gonna control you like I said I'm gonna find what I think a good color is like this pink right here actually works for me so I'm gonna go ahead and just press ok and call that a day and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a vibrance and a brightness and contrast or for the vibrance I'm gonna go ahead and for the uh, for the vibrance I'm gonna add I think it's gonna be like 91 that's pretty high but I'm gonna take my contrast and drop this thing down negative 14 now for this the it just looks it feels really good it feels kind of I how would you say it, it kind of feels I don't know it just feels good just go for it I think it looks pretty good the vibrance and then brightness and contrast right boom I'm gonna add three for the brightness and then 28 for the contrast just like so and then I'm gonna add right now oops got a cough <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna add a new layer again take my red here I might change the color in a second but I'm gonna click one time in the middle with a uh, linear dodge add once again nice little middle hit right there and I'm also gonna erase around over here a little bit just like so I'm also gonna change this color here as well to a more lighter tone just like so press an OK and then the basic little finishing little touches here what I'm gonna go ahead and do for you guys I'm make a new layer we're gonna take a rectangle marquee tool here and then we're gonna make a nice sort of border like right here is pretty good and for this we're gonna fill this in right click fill it in with the white and then right click deselect or control D and for me I already have an eraser that kind of works for this I believe it was dude my <coughs> <coughs> excuse me sorry uh, I think it was uh, this one I'm kind of sick just so you guys know um where is it uh dude I need to find it all right I'm not even gonna let you guys know I'm not even gonna let you guys in on how long that just took me to find <laughs> but basically after you make your white bar here you want to take a like sort of an eraser that has like a sort of like this kind of pattern I guess you would say and so just erase the top just like so just like this nicely nicely and now for me I think I made my sort of um my how do you call this thing a border the top border too much I'm gonna delete it a little bit just like so I'm gonna move it back up more just like right there or so just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate it by holding alt holding shift as well bring it down control T to free transform and then flip it vertically and I'm just gonna drag this down right at the edge of this banner design here as well and then pretty much the last thing I want to do is I'm gonna group everything when I say it like that the last thing I'm gonna do control J control E merge everything together go to filter filter gallery and I want to use a filter gallery here and the one I want to use is called splatter the reason why I think it just looks really cool and kind of painterly like and for the setting of uh, the settings I have here is 15 and 9 press ok use your mask again take a black brush a black soft brush I'm gonna go ahead and just erase around these couple spots here and I think it looks really really good honestly 
sit around your flowers a little bit. I'll get, I think it just gives a lot, a little more of character than you might think. And for me, I think this is pretty much done. I'm gonna race the back a little bit though. I'm also gonna re-add some over here, right there. And we are pretty much finished. I'm gonna add one simple brightness and contrast above everything. And then call this done. So, we're done. Awesome. It looks freaking dope. It looks like really close to what I had the original. I'm pretty happy and satisfied about that. So, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Do not forget to leave a like, turn likes on the video. You can say secret down below. Do not forget to follow me on, on Twitter, at SwitchQ. Do not forget to check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SwitchQ. And thank you guys so very much. If you guys are not subscribed to me already, you guys should. It's like, it. you know, I think you guys know that you probably should by now if you guys like this video. And uh, yeah, so comment down anything you want to see me do in the future, anything like that. Tweet at me what you guys design. I might retweet it. Who knows? I don't know. Um, so yeah, thank you guys very very much. I just want to say thank you guys once again for all the support lately It's been freaking like amazing and like client wise like subscribers wise followers wise You guys are just awesome individuals. Thank you guys so very much and I am gonna be currently working on uh, Probably looking to vlog not crazy like that. I, I already talked to my like live stream and stuff like that I was like if I, I want to do like a little test vlog just like a little fun little video for you guys like what <clears throat> why the heck not change the pace so that is it for me today. I'm gonna keep go. I'm just gonna go to sleep, bros. I'm tired and I'm sick, and that's basically it. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. So some HQ out. Peace. Now forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later.